guys happy new year again and welcome back to my channel so I was thinking of starting this year off right and as usual you guys know on this channel sustainability matters I encourage imperfect sustainability so today to start the new year I'll be looking into my closet and comparing some pieces that I didn't buy at Zara because I wanted to avoid double spending by looking into my closet first and I hope that you would learn from this. So this dress was definitely one of the best sellers on Zara. It was a very popular item and it was found in different shops on different YouTubers channel in different ways, but it's essentially the same style. I love this a bit. So very cute. It's a really pretty shade of blue and it has these beautiful kind of To be honest, I was almost persuaded to get this dress because I like it. It's very much my style. As you guys know on this channel, my current mantra is fabric fit and style. And this definitely fit into my current mantra. Well, this one is a little too big, but it was something I could work with by double belting. But I didn't get it, and you would see the reason why. But it's a really beautiful piece, and if this is something that you love, and you don't have anything like it in your closet, it was... A definite goodbye not goodbye as in bye bye but a good bye for me however it wasn't because this is my closet piece that I found under my mom's bed actually my sister found this piece under my sister's bed and guys some of the places that you could go and look for pieces is definitely your sister's, your sibling's closet. In my case, I was just lucky to find this piece and it saved me from actually spending more money. And I hope to continue to do so throughout 2021. Dress number two is very much on par with the sentiments that were just express so i do have a closet piece and i got it at zara about six five to six years ago it's a viscous piece and it's very much the same except that the first piece is a bit brighter but it's very much the same thing and for me to go and intentionally buy something that I already have that would definitely be wardrobe financial suicide so I did not absolutely love it it has this gorgeous deep keyhole detail at the back and I fell in love with the kimono sleeve as well so guys it definitely pays to look into your wardrobe as a new priority in 2021 because these two pieces are very similar to the one at Zara. Keep in mind that Zara repeats its best sellers so it's always best to look in your closet to see if you have already purchased something similar. This other piece, oh guys, these pieces are just me. It's anything with strings that you have to tie, anything with buttons, you could have me in a heartbeat but this is another piece that i found under my mom's bed it has the same style it has buttons and it's an excellent summer piece and guys i fell in love with this piece so for me while i was tempted to buy those zara pieces because they are green as you guys know, green is my favorite color. But I was able to polarize this piece and also wear it in the summer. So 
there was no need for me to actually spend any more money. And this particular piece really saved me a lot of money because I could valorize it as well as wear it in the summer as well. I really love the look of this pants. It's wide leg. It's oh, high waisted. Oh, for me, normally I wouldn't even blink an eye I would just get this but keeping my mantra in mind I was able to forego this piece because one despite this fact it's my style it didn't fit well at all it and normally as I've said before I would buy this whether or not it fits but no this I remember I had in my closet this is a piece that I found in my nephew's closet and for me this would stay forever in my wardrobe secondly I also have this piece that I've gotten from forever 21 about 10 years ago and it's the exact style the only difference is that this piece is polyester. Both pieces are actually polyester items. And guys, you know me and my relationship with polyester. My tip for you is to always avoid synthetic items such as polyester because they're just not great. Look for items that are made of natural, breathable fibers, such as linen and cotton, or hemp. Hemp is an excellent alternative as well. Zara pants number two. Uh, I went into Zara and oh my God, I, I was, I was actually at the counter before I returned to try this because that's how tempting this piece was because I love it it embodies my second favorite color on my color palette which is brown and it's my style and it fits and it's gorgeous it would just fit nicely into my wardrobe but guess what I have this piece already this is very similar to that piece that you just saw so there's definitely no point in me double spending because that's what i'll be doing if i do buy the other piece so luckily that i looked into my closet and looked back at my old videos and realized that i have this piece that i absolutely love and that i haven't gotten enough wear out of so I was definitely not going to spend any more money for the new year. To start the new year right, you have to have your priorities and definitely stick to your mantra. On to shoes. This is a classic piece in anyone's wardrobe. Anything that is of animal print for me I also gravitate towards but oh my god luckily for me I rechecked and I already have an animal print piece actually I have more than one animal print pieces in my closet so there was definitely no point in me getting another piece just for the sake of because it's the sale Yes, we, we are often tempted because when Zara sale is on, it's a huge temptation. But one of the ways to avoid overspending or double spending is to often look into your closet first. This waistcoat was definitely a huge attraction for me when I visited Zara during that 2020 period of time and oh my god I had almost forgotten I have a very similar piece in my closet 
But at the time, I was so fixated with this piece because it's stunning. Luckily, I came home and, guys, this is my closet piece and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's also made from very sustainable fabric. It's a very thick fabric as well. It's a combination of cotton and I don't have it with me right now, but it's very, very, very good and durable material and I just love it. So I'll just show you how I style this particular piece because I was so happy to find it. And this is a piece that I got from my sister when I was in my country. So I really, really, really love it. And I am so glad that I remembered it and save a lot of money in the long run. So guys, I really hope you follow these tips as the new year begins consider what your priorities are and i hope you do find inspiration love you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video enjoy the rest of this video guys